Hey guys, Andy here, and today I'm gonna give y'all a little update on the state of me, Andy. So, the spring 2022 semester has finally come and gone, and I have my final grades up here on the screen. So for this semester, I got two A's, an AB, a B, and a BC. So for those of you who don't know what an AB or a BC are, an AB is in between an A minus and a B plus, and subsequently, a BC is in between a B minus and a C plus. So that brings my GPA overall to a 3.4. So really excited about that one. As far as how I'm feeling after this semester, uh, in a word, exhausted. I really put a lot of time and effort into uh, this internship program that I was a part of, which counted as one of my classes. It really uh, took a lot of energy out of me and just really stressed me out. So thankfully, uh, next semester isn't gonna be nearly as stressful. So I'll be able to just kind of relax, focus more on either making content for this channel or for other people or job hunting. So for those who don't know, uh, the internship program that I was a part of was through my school, Lakeland University of Japan. And it was the first internship program that they've put together. And it was um, a bit interesting to say the least. So my role with that was to help other students with their projects. So it was up to the other interns to come up with uh, video ideas. And then they would schedule times for me to come out and film. And then afterwards I would go and edit the footage and on days where I couldn't come and film due to other commitments, uh, they would have the staff camera and they would film, then they would just send me the footage for me to edit later. Overall, um, I'm really glad with uh, the videos that we put out. The work schedule was a bit skewed just because of the nature of things and obviously with uh, Koronsuke delaying a lot of the initial shoots, so for the first half of the semester, I basically did nothing because I didn't really have anything to do as students were working on projects and stuff was getting delayed. But once the second half of the semester rolled around, that's when I was getting all these messages and stuff like, hey, Andy, we got to come and film and do this, all, that and the other. And so I'm just getting like overwhelmed with all the video projects and stuff I had to do. In addition to all the other stuff for my other classes, as well as freelancing work. So. I uh, was a pretty busy fucking beaver this semester, not gonna lie. To be honest, I was really disappointed in the grade that I got. So for my internship, I got a B. And with the amount of work that I put in, I felt like I deserved an A. But uh, me and the internship coordinator obviously had differing opinions. And I think it just kind of boiled down to a differences in expectations. So for me, I approached it like I normally approach my freelancing work, uh, talking with the uh, the clients, i.e. the uh, interns, and then keeping uh, my supervisor apprised of what's going on throughout the week, letting them know of shoots and stuff like that. And then I would meet with the coordinator twice a semester, just kind of give more of an overall view of things. And between me and the supervisor, Everything was fine. I just basically tell her like, I'm working these many hours, doing this, that, and the other. But uh, me and the coordinator, she had more of a view of being like in an actual company, like if I was working for a company rather than just me doing freelance work. So again, differing expectations. So I tried to kind of explain how we did things and how we were setting stuff up, but it just, I don't know, it just didn't really click. So no hard feelings, of course, but it just kind of was what it was, really. In any event, hopefully those videos will be coming out soon. Uh, once they're released, I'll be sure to uh, to share them on social media so you guys can get a look at what I've been up to this semester. And if anything, you know, I can put that stuff on my demo reel as well, portfolio to uh, show prospective clients what I can do. I was also kind of hoping that since this is an internship, that it could potentially lead to full-time employment with my school. Um, but that's very nascent right now. So we'll see. It is a possibility, but uh, nothing's been confirmed as of yet. 
But that was another reason why I worked really, really hard on those videos, just to prove to my school my skills and what I can offer them. So it is what it is. If anything, it's a learning experience. And uh, while I'm stressed the fuck out <laughs> at the end of it all, I'm happy that I did it and it set a really good example for future interns. So yeah, now that the semester is done and dusted, starting to feel a bit more relaxed about things because with this semester, I was just going as hard as I possibly could. And near the end, I was just feeling really exhausted. And that's why I started doing a lot more live streams to kind of help me get in a better state of mind. But now that it's over, I can uh, finally relax for this month. This semester was my last semester on the GI Bill. So I was also really worried that I wouldn't be able to afford the next semester. So I talked with the financial aid office at the home campus in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. I was able to apply for financial aid and get all that taken care of. So thankfully, I was able to get approved for a financial aid package that will allow me to uh, continue on. So I'm not gonna give exact numbers because it's extremely private, but suffice it to say that this semester, this final semester coming up, will be completely taken care of and also have enough to take care of living expenses for this semester as well. So all's well, then ends well. But as far as right now goes, um, I'm on break for a month. I'm planning on finally relaxing, slowing down, taking a break and uh, getting ready because this semester was extremely stressful and I just really need some time to uh, slow down and uh, let the body heal a little bit. So as far as content goes uh, from this channel, obviously I'll be putting out some videos between now and then, but like I said, I really wanna take this time to rest up, come into the last semester uh, with a good, clear mind. As far as YouTube stuff goes, one of the things I've been working on a lot is live streams. If you guys haven't noticed, I've been live streaming a lot. And like I said earlier, uh, it was mostly just due to helping me kind of clear my mind while still making content and talking with you guys. And I've really been enjoying doing the live streams. And I said in there that I was going to get a new live streaming setup with the, uh, the GoPro Hero 10 uh, Creator Kit. For now, it's best for me to just focus on the consistency of live streams and getting out and going and doing different things uh, versus getting new gear now. So once I have developed more of a consistent live streaming thing, then I'll be uh, more willing to invest in gear. And subsequently, we're gonna be get, getting out to uh, newer environments as well, because I was just kind of waiting around before I really went out and did some stuff. But now that I'm gonna be waiting on the gear a bit longer, I think uh, I'm gonna be getting out and going to uh, some new places as well. And as far as this channel goes, uh, the big news is that I've done a lot of cleanup on this channel. I've unlisted a lot of my older videos. And the reason behind that is I want to make this channel a bit more consistent with uh, the type of content that I'm putting out now. And this all started from a conversation from one of my fellow creator friends. Uh, he gave kind of a cursory look of this channel. And, you know, he gave me the usual YouTuber advice, you know, change thumbnails, titles, tags, all this kind of stuff, obviously. But one of the things that he mentioned was that, you know, the videos that I had that got a lot of views were of content that I just don't make anymore. And if people were to start coming to this channel, obviously they would look at like the most viewed content that I would have and it would be of stuff from 10, 12 plus years ago of stuff that I don't really cover anymore and people would get kind of turned off by it. So. He suggested initially that I just start a new channel and just start completely over because of all the baggage on the old channel. But as you guys know, I haven't exactly had the best of luck with starting new channels. So I decided instead to just trim the fat and unlist a lot of videos that aren't really relevant to the type of stuff that I put out anymore. And while I've lost a lot of views because of it, just lifetime channel views, um, I have been seeing a lot of uh, positive growth with that channel because, you know, as a lot of the other stuff has been unlisted, taken off the public view, 
a lot of my older videos have started getting circled back into the algorithm again. So I've been seeing little boosts of uh, some of my older videos, which is great. I've also seen a, uh, a bit of an uptick in subscribers as well. And in fact, <laughs> I'm actually happy to announce that I've passed the 2000 subscriber mark on the Andy Japandi channel. So for a while, I've been kind of hovering and, you know, just breaking even as far as subscribers go. I was, you know, getting really close and like I would gain a couple subs and I would lose a couple subs. And now it seems with this uh, new channel change, it's really uh, turning things around. Just gotta thank you guys for all the support and uh, just gonna be keeping on keeping on basically. And as far as the Edit by Andy channel goes, um, now that I have a little more time and I'm not as stressed the fuck out about things, I definitely do plan on making more content for that channel as well. I have a couple of new tutorial ideas uh, for some new stuff that came out as well as something I kind of stumbled across by accident. So I'll be on the lookout for those coming soon-ish. And yeah, man, just overall, me personally, um, I'm still kind of coming off of the struggle bus that was uh, putting together all those videos and final projects and all this, that, and the other. So my body is just starting to come down from all that stress. But overall, I'm feeling really positive about things. And I just, I'm gonna take some time to really relax, slow down, and uh, think about where I see myself moving forward. Not just on YouTube, but uh, in life as well, because I feel like I've just been really stressing out about um, applying for a job and just not really getting a whole lot of responses from that. I've also been getting turned down from a couple people as well. So that's kind of been hurting my confidence in myself. Yeah, just wanna thank you guys for, uh, for all the support uh, this semester. I know I haven't really put out a whole heck of a lot of stuff just cause like I said, I've been really busy and thankfully I made it out of this semester in one piece. So with that said guys, this is Andy. It's not for now and as always forever. We'll see you next time. Catch you later guys, bye.